gonna pin my hair back because these bangs, my hair is just so clean right now that it won't stay anywhere. So in efforts to keep my hair, oh, my clip just broke. Damn, these are expensive. Ugh. All right, so many different colors in it right now. There's like yellow blonde and like pinky lavender and then like lavender lavender and then there's like silver in certain areas. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I am going to start out by telling you guys what I normally do. Um, so I think it's important to note that I always, always, always have to brush my brow hairs up. And then I will check to make sure to see if there's any like stray hairs that I want plucked. Now me, I'm not particularly a like super sharp type of shape. So like I have these like little stray hairs like right here, but I like that because it makes it look a little bit more natural to me. Um, so I like to brush my brow hairs up and pluck off any hairs that I don't want there or um, I'll trim my brow hairs, which I think is also really important because when your brow hairs are too long, it starts to look a little messy. It's harder to apply product. Um, and then they just, they don't look as groomed. So as you can see here, like I've already trimmed my brow hairs. Nothing really is excessively long. These were, but I trimmed them before I started filming this, um, which really I probably should have done it on camera. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so I just always brush my brow hairs up. And I do this too because it also helps to groom the way that you want your brows to lay. So like these brow hairs a few months ago would have looked very like, very much like that where it was just kind of like laying flat, but I've been really kind of making sure to brush them up every time before I fill them in. And now they kind of lay more how this brow does. We all have that one problem brow. This is mine, this is my good brow. Um, but as you can tell, they're not super full. So I have a fuller brow here, but then they kind of thin out. I don't even know what my brows used to look like. I let somebody pluck them when I was like 11 years old and I never went back. They're a lot thicker than they used to be in high school, but they're still not exactly where I'd like them to be. But you know, we make do with what we've done to ourselves and I plucked them for so long that I just don't think they'll grow back anymore. So I brush them into place, tweeze them, trim them, do all the fun stuff. Lately, I have been using the Tanya Burr, the Tanya Burr Brow Palette, um, which I really enjoy. It's very, very comparable to the Anastasia Brow Powders. Um, I ran out of a brow pencil, which is what I would normally use, and I started using this, and I really, really love it. And I've been using it in conjunction with the Zoeva 322 Brow Line Brush, which is just a really, it's like a really dense, but um, short angled brush that's really thin. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's very thin and I think it gives off such a good like payoff. Like it's so easy to apply brow product. So I will just brush them up and then I'm gonna mix these two shades, which is this Pebble and Hot Cocoa. So I'm gonna just kind of go back and forth on them. And I usually end off with Pebble. And that's where I start drawing underneath the brow. And I kind of fill in, I always have this really sparse like gap right here. It's super full and then it just goes up and over. So I kind of fill in that area just so that it all looks a little bit more uniform. It's all a little bit more swoop, swoopy. <laughs> and then I will drag that product up. Now I won't grab more product for that area, I'll just kind of feather in the product that I've already placed down from drawing that underline. And then I like to go in with my spoolie brush again and kind of distribute the product there as well. And then I'll take a little bit of pebble, which was that lighter color, and just kind of do the very front of my brow because I think lighter at the front of the brow looks a little bit more natural and a little less harsh. So then I'm gonna take hot cocoa, which is the darker color, and I'm gonna take it on its own, and I'm gonna fill in this little gap right there. I'm gonna fill in that little gap there and just start to kind of connect the brow. 
And then I'll take whatever's left and kind of bring it down towards the end. So then I'm just gonna brush that out. And then I'm gonna brush the brow hairs down, which looks terrifying and it makes my brow look super thin. But there's a reason. It's so I don't overdraw the top of my brow, which I've been known to do many, many times. Um, I'm gonna mix hot cocoa and pebble together again, maybe lying a little bit more on pebble because it's a little bit lighter. And then I'm just going to start filling in that area. And I brush the brow hairs down because I really don't want to over draw my brow because that's not a good look for me. Um, it just kind of looks a little bit too much, a little too harsh. My face can't really handle it. And I like to do this too because I get really sparse here on the ends, like on the tails of my brow. So it helps me to get a really nice kind of rounded, fuller shape over there. And then I'm gonna take Pebble on its own and just kind of fill that in. And it shows me how much I can kind of exaggerate my arch. So I've exaggerated a little bit, but not too much, just because it won't really suit my eye shape if I exaggerate it too much. And then you can kind of brush everything back into place and see where you need product and where you don't. So now that you have your brow shape done, this is an optional step. You do not have to do this. I don't do this a lot of times. I normally only do it if I'm going kind of for a more glamorous makeup. I'm gonna take a concealer. This is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC15 that I'm kind of falling back in love with. And I'll take this, just kind of right in my arch area. And then I'll take just a little. And I'm using the Zoeva 226 smudger brush for this. I like doing this though because it helps kind of clean up the brows and sometimes I'll even swoop what's left kind of on the tops or down. Over. And then if you want to go all out you can kind of highlight with more of a shimmery product. This is Max Vanilla Pigment and this is the Zoeva 237 Detail Shader Brush. And I only do this right in the arch. I don't go all the way across with this. I think it looks nicer when it's just lifting in the arch area. And then just to set the brows in place, I like to use a brow gel. This is the Benefit Give Me Brow um, in the dark brown shade. This doesn't do a ton for hold, if I'm being honest. Um, I just like the way that it kind of brings texture back into my brows, so it makes them look more natural because they look a little hairier. If that makes sense, it sounds awful. Um, but I also do like the Anastasia brow gel. I like the Urban Decay brow gel. Um, the Anastasia one is amazing if you have super unruly brows because it's like literal cement in your eyebrows. Um, and if you like that and if you, your brows need it, then I say go for that one. And it's a bit cheaper than the, the Gimme Brow. So these are the finished brows. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's just kind of a more detailed um, video into how I do my brows because I do do them briefly in every video, but I never really sit there and talk about it. Um, as to what exactly I'm doing and this is the routine for my brows that I've been loving lately And I hope you guys like it if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me down below and you can also follow me on um, Twitter Instagram all of that will be linked down below and I'll talk to you all very very soon. Bye